Hey guys, welcome back to the Hat House. Super cold and a super busy morning today. I'm sure all of you out there are having a very busy morning as well, getting packages shipped out from the holiday weekend. I didn't get a chance today to go through and uh, show all of the great sales that we had over the weekend because we had over 100 packages and we got a lot going on today. Uh, we still got to get 50 to 100 items listed. And then Mary's got a special project for us today as well. Yeah, we've done all of the rearranging in the garage. And then now it's my turn for where I take pictures of clothes. We're going to go in and clean that room up and get everything reorganized. So we know what I have to list and get rid of some of the stuff that's in there that's taking up room. So it looks like we're going to be busy today. Uh, I know a lot of you guys out there like to start fresh for the new year and that's what we're going to do. We kind of, like we said, we did the garage, uh, but we're going to go in and do part of our other eBay process in there. And we're really taking a look this year to see how much clothing do we actually want to do? How much of that space are we really going to use for clothing anymore? Or are we just going to continue to go kind of full speed ahead on the hat sales? So uh, we're kind of getting a business plan ready as well for this new year. Uh, if you guys going in a different direction or thinking about taking your business to somewhere else, let me know down in the comments and see what you're gonna do. Because I think we might change things up a little bit. We're just not exactly sure yet. We're coming up with that plan and we'll share that with you soon. But uh, let's check out our uh, cleanup and honeydew list today. So the next thing that we're really trying to get caught up on right now is we're behind on washing hats. I got like four tubs here, like a hundred hats that need to be cleaned up. So we got to get those all cleaned up. So we have plenty of stuff to list this week. We've really fallen behind over the holidays. I don't know if you guys kind of feel the same way out there, uh, but the new year, we want to start it off right. And we want to get everything, all of our death pile basically that we got here cleaned up. And the next thing we're going to show you is our eBay room where we take all the other pictures. That's going to be kind of a project too. That Mary, Mary and I are going to have to tackle. But one of the biggest things that we want to get tackled starting the new year off right is this sunroom that's in our house, which we use it as kind of our eBay room. Kind of that's our picture taking area for clothing. But in this room, we have we have a bunch of clothing. We haven't bought clothing in a while, and Mary kind of wants to get this place cleaned up. What are you wanting to do in here? Uh, we need to go through all the clothes to see what's listable. Um, some of these items in here that are broke or they're just too stained to list. And we need to figure out which ones we need to either throw away or donate and which ones we can list. And then we have just a bunch of stuff that we don't have listed yet, like books that we need to go through and kind of get organized and listed books. It's just a mess in here. So we're going to try to figure it out and get everything situated. Yeah, we have uh, a lot of the hat stuff has kind of migrated in here and a lot of the stuff from the garage is just, it's just not organized. It's not like we would like it to be. And we've kind of neglected it over the past couple of months uh, and put more focus on uh, the garage and the, uh, the computer room uh, that we showed you. But uh, we're gonna clean this up and uh, we're gonna show you the difference in this room uh, and hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration uh, to tackle your own uh, listing areas and your own uh, death piles, death piles uh, that, that you may have. Uh, so we can at least get them organized, know what we want to do with them. Because the worst thing is just to have stuff getting in your way and slowing you down. All right, guys. One of the first things we did to get cleaned up for the new year was my whole desk area right here. I don't know if you've seen my really old videos. I started out kind of in the kitchen over there and then I kind of moved over to this corner uh, by the window. But I got all these hats hung up here uh, over the break and on the new year. And I use these little hooks that you get from Amazon. Um, I think they cost just like $9 for 12 of them. They were really cool hooks. So far I've used just the double-sided sticky tape uh, and it's worked so far. Haven't had any real issue. One of them fell off, but it was because I messed up the sticky tape. Uh, but really excited about the new desk area here. And uh, really looking forward to going into the new year with the clean desk area and a nice little backdrop for any videos that I want to do here. All right, let's check in on Mary and see how she's doing in the sunroom getting it cleaned up. It looks like she's making some really good progress. 
sorting out the clothes, uh, getting the ones that need to be listed, the ones we're going to donate, and then also getting all the other boxes and junk out of there. We ended up throwing away quite a bit of stuff. Some of it we're going to donate, but uh, some of it we just got to get listed. So uh, let's go back to the garage and see how I'm doing on uh, cleaning these hats up and getting them ready to be listed. So you know how I do it. I got all these pre-treated. Just going to get them into the washer real quick. We'll get them cleaned up and uh, we'll get them out and start drying here in just a minute. So the drying part is where I really start to run into a problem of running out of room. And it was actually closer to 200 hats, not 100 like I said earlier. So it was quite the project to get all these clean and laid out to dry. Well, I finally got all the hats washed and got them laid out here to dry. They dried last night. And I'm so glad today I took the kids back to school. So uh, we're going to finish up the room today. It actually went into a second day. So let's go uh, after we get these hats put up. Let's go check in with Mary and see how she's doing in the room. Because I think we're almost done and we'll be able to have that cleaned up and ready to go. Okay, so Mary made a lot of progress in this room. Uh, you can see that we got all the clothes cleaned up. She did a couple of loads of laundry, uh, got them cleaned back up. We went through a lot of them. And what did you end up doing with the clothes? Uh, we ended up donating a lot of them. Um, I also threw some away. And then I also had about two loads of laundry. I've got about one done. I still have another to do. So. Yeah, and then we had all the books that were down here as well. Um, some of them still need to be listed, which we'll get to those. We'll start uh, listing some of those books that need to be listed. We're not going to be a full-time bookseller or anything, but uh, we need to get rid of them. Uh, and so we'll get those listed. And then we had a lot of just miscellaneous stuff on this uh, shelf right here. And Mary did a great job of organizing it. And then we've kind of come up with what our plan is uh, going forward with clothing. Um, Mary, you want to kind of tell them about the plan? Yeah, we're going to be a little bit more picky about what we pick up. Um, anything worth 30 or more, I think, is what we're going to aim for. But, uh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of tough to do here in our area in Oklahoma, uh, in our Goodwills. There's not a lot of items that meet that criteria uh, when we go out thrifting, so we might come back with a lot less. Uh, but we're just not going to put as much focus on listing large quantities of clothing. Uh, when we can uh, really put a lot of that effort into hats. And so we're still going to go looking for clothing. It's still fun to go thrifting, and uh, we'll do that a couple of times a week. Uh, it's a lot easier now that the kids are back in school. All the holidays are over, and uh, we can sit down and kind of make up a good schedule of how we want to get it done, what days we want to go thrifting, what days we need to uh, work on the business at home. And, uh, of course, every day got to ship and list uh, the items that we do have. But uh, I'll let you guys see around the room uh, and uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, what you're doing in your business to uh, get ready for the new year. See you guys soon.